Tens of thousands of Syrian refugees crammed into this camp in Jordan, dependent on international aid because, like many refugees around the world, they don't have the right to work. And yet, come with me. Just here, there are factories, and they're building a load more factories, and they really need workers. See where I'm going here? Could it be that simple? Cute titles. This arid borderland is now full of Syrians. Like millions around the world, they've forfeited a basic human right. As refugees, they aren't legally allowed to work. But this Syrian woman is working hard to help her countrymen get jobs. The first step is to get them work permits under a pioneering new scheme. So you need to help those people actually to get uh, meaningful for their life and to get uh, uh, them in uh, to help them to get jobs and and uh, to have a normal life. Eighty thousand Syrians live here. Long years of the war mean long years of them staying idle and isolated. Fadi hates not working. He studied engineering back in Syria. Well, he feels miserable, uh, and I get it, because a 26-year-old who's really qualified, not being able to work for years is just a waste. We should not look at Syrian refugees only as burden. We, we need to uh, look at uh, refugees as also an opportunity. Maybe uh, host countries can benefit from the existence of such a uh, I mean, huge number of labor in, in those countries. The new idea is that putting Syrians to work could actually help Jordan get richer and turn this desert into a new Dubai. That's what the man developing this area dreams of. We are having another nine factories beside this one under design uh, at, the, at the moment. So there's been, this one, there'll be nine more stretching off in that direction? Yes. So there's going to be a train station, there's going to be an air facility. Yeah. Where, it, where is that going to be? It, it is, it's behind those uh, electric lines, OK? It will connect Syria with Jordan, with Saudi Arabia, the Gulf State, and Iraq. It's going to be uh, the gateway to Europe in the future. I think we have to create many jobs for the Syrian. Uh, it's in the order of around 200,000 jobs. Uh, I think this area is the most suitable area uh, uh, for uh, creating those jobs. Jordan has promised to issue work permits to Syrians, 30,000 so far. But the idea first came from British academics. Imagine, ultimately, that we could have border cities that host refugees when they come across the border, not just now, but potentially in the future, that also help with the development of the country. That's the vision that I think we're aspiring to. We don't know whether Syrians getting work permits will benefit Jordan's economy or damage it. The idea has never been tested. But it has Western backing in part to keep Syrians from fleeing to Europe. The EU and UK are offering money and incentives. Factories are already springing up. But so far, not that many factories. And therein lies the big problem. Native Jordanians in town say they don't want Syrians competing with them for jobs because unemployment for them is already 15%. <laughs> Well, 
They don't have any right to work here. We have the opportunity to work. It's our opportunity. It's our country. Okay? This is about small steps based on huge political and policy constraints. These areas are difficult, arid parts of Jordan. Jordan is a country that is reluctant to host large numbers of refugees, but it is hosting them, and on human rights grounds it's crucial that it continues to host them. We have to work from the basis of very difficult constraints and try to improve things gradually in innovative ways. Syria is really um, trying to get any opportunities in the market to, to prove that they have skills, to prove that they, can, they, they are willing to, to, do, uh, to, uh, to work. They, uh, they want any kind of activity to be engaged. Getting jobs would help refugees come out of the shadows and that makes unemployed Jordanians nervous but it could also make this border as a whole better off, driving development in Jordan and an eventual post-war Syria.